good everyone i hope you're having an amazing day um so today i'm going to talk about a package uh which you might have used it before if not then you're in for a treat so this is something called apex uh uml canvas so this is a github page so i think andy has contributed a lot to it and other people as well um so um so you go to the the github Apex, I'll put the link in the description below. Don't worry about it. So, so you know, if you are an architect, if you're a developer, you know what UML is all about, right? So if you have a class, Apex class, you wanted to see a UML representation of an Apex class, then this package will be, you know, will be handy for you. Or if you're an architect who wants to look at the, uh, the, the code structure, right? Then this tool will help as well. I mean, I do understand that uh, you know uh, if you are using Lucid Chart, that's a different thing, right? But that being said, you can see within your org uh, your AML representation, UML representation of your um, APIs class, which is pretty handy in my opinion. So uh, you go to this um, GitHub page and you can install it, right? So these are the uh, people that are contributing: Andrew, John. Uh, James right and um, yeah this is how something it looks like and I'm gonna show you how it looks like I've installed it in my org and you can install it and so yeah that's so you know you can go for you know production install or sandbox install that's up to you what you wanted to do right and so yeah and then follow the instruction here so that I didn't have to do anything I just pretty much installed it and once I installed it Right, you just go to um, your Apex UML here, right? So I got uh, a class. So let me go to one class here, okay? Um, so what we do? So this is my class. Yeah. So let it load for a second. So I'll go to uh, setup in the meantime, and I look for a specific um, class called Contact FF Handler. So what I'll do, I'll just go to Apex, Classes, yeah. So one thing, I just wanted to let you guys know that before you, inst once you install it, it will ask you to compile a class. So it's good to compile your Apex class before you start using this tool, right? Um, so what I'll do, just go to C, um, uh, let's go about, hmm. Um, more. Oh yeah, this is the one. Contact FF Handler. Now you see that I've used um a three uh, different options here. One is the F object domain, which is it's extending from an F object domain, and then I've also used the logger class. So talking about the logger, in the next session, I'm going to talk about exception handling to show how the logger works, which is pretty handy. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check that out in my, you know, just stay tuned for the next episode. All right. Okay. Um, so in this class, right, this is something, uh, it is, uh, this class extends f of lib as object domain, which is a class associated with uh, financial force lib which I talked about a long time ago. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I will drop this FF class handler to the canvas, and I'll drop FF S object domain and the logger, and you'll see the difference, how it looks like, right? Sounds pretty easy. Okay, and this is very important, right? If you're an architect looking at how these classes tie uh, together, then this is a pretty amazing uh, option. Okay, so I mean, uh, this is a canvas here, so you don't have to do much here. So select this um, FF, FF handler here. Okay, so let it turn blue because it's doing something what it was supposed to do. See, there you go. So, um, so it's using a tooling API behind the scenes. So if you look at the code, it's, I'll just go through the code in a second, right? Um, it's all there, out there. So I'm going to put another one, uh, FFLib S object. Okay, so I'm just going to do down. Uh, S object domain, yeah. And okay, so you can see that if you go up and just move here, you see it's linked here, yeah. And then you're gonna have let me go back down and look for the logger 
or flip logger yeah I'm just gonna because I've used the logger right inside the class and yeah and I've used the logger inside the domain class as well so that's why it's all linked together so you can see there's pretty uh, nice representation in the form of a UML and it, it also shows you the different methods it supports like on apply default on validate so this is a pretty amazing place if you if you wanted to know okay show me a class show me the methods associated with a specific class right you just you know uh, click a specific class and I can look at it right so this is pretty handy in my opinion I really like it and it's actually helped me when I was designing an architecture solution when architecting a solution Right, when I was designing a solution for developers, I can actually show them, look, this is how it works. This is how you can see the stuff, right? Which is pretty handy. Even it's good for developers as well, okay? All right, let's go to the code aspect, okay? So you can see that, um, go to the default here and you can go to the uh, classes here, you know, so you got different, so look at the UML service, okay? So if you look at it, and it's it's used that uh, tooling API symbol table, and you know it's just pretty cool. Just go through it. I mean, it's all in GitHub. You know, it's it uses uh, the metadata container, and this is pretty pretty nice. You know, they use the metadata container because obviously you can't use it without that, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty much I wanted to talk about it. Uh, like I said, if you're interested, check out the code. It's all open source, right? I mean, it's not written by me. It's written by other people, but I use this package. It's pretty cool, right? Um, you might find it useful, right? I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, you have to use it. If you use, like, I remember I wrote something very similar uh, for .NET. You know, I built it myself because uh, I was, you know, back in the days, I like to reinvent the wheels, you know, when you're, when you're young, right? So and now I don't do that because I prefer because it's waste so much of the time, right? Someone else would have written way better stuff than you can do, right? And why to waste it when you can reuse the stuff, right? So that's my personal opinion. I mean, you, you you're entitled for your own. So yeah, and you can look at the tooling API class how it works and kind of stuff, right? So API tooling. So this is what I said. They used uh, tooling API stuff, you know, behind the scene, and it's pretty cool right so just have a look and you will you'll find it interesting yeah okay all right that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about today if you have any questions or comments do let me know cheers adios